hi again. Kali ni, I nak buat unboxing untuk O2O oh Cosmetics pula. And, macam biasa, dia dalam paper bag seperti sebelum ini. And if you are wondering why do I look similar, it's because I film the last video at the same time. Like, cuma I upload on the different time. Okay? Okay, let's move on with the unboxing for O2O oh Cosmetics. So, I think I'm in O2O oh PR list because recently they contacted me again for doing another videos with them. These are all free. They gave it to me. I'm so thankful for that. But, obviously, it's not gonna affect how I feel and my thoughts about the product performance. Okay, my review is always 100% honest. Cuma dalam video kali ni, I nak buat unboxing je. Bukannya review. Okay. So, the first one, we have the eyelash curler. Yang ni, I rasa warna hitam looks proper than the other eyelash curler out there. I mean, let me show you my eyelash curler. Yang biasa selalu dia punya holder macam ni je. Macam gunting. Tapi yang ni dia macam ada ada grip dia kat sini. So it looks more polish. If you want to see that. Okay. I'm not gonna use this because I will include it in a giveaway once I hit 3000 subscribers. So, if you want to win like a bunch of cool goodies slash makeups, please subscribe to my channel because I will do a giveaway once we hit 3000 subscribers. Okay. We have the loose powder. Yang ni ada cord ke? Hmm. Dia tak ada cord pun. Oh, ada. Nombor 2. And I believe this is the banana powder. Looks, yeah, looks yellow. Looks like this. Like this kan? Nampak mahal. It comes in this frosted packaging here. You can see how many product you have inside. Ada sponge yang sangat-sangat lembut. And it looks like this. So, I takkan buka lagi produk ni. I will do it in my try on video uh, later. Lepas tu, kita ada Love Highlight Powder. I believe this is their new release. And I actually minta dua. Tapi dia bagi satu je. But I am married it. I okay je. And yang ni code nombor dua. Oops. Kerja macam ni, it looks really similar with the Too Faced Highlighter. Lepas tu, kat dalam dia dapat cermin. And this is how it looks like. Can you see that? Oh my god, cantik gila. It is like a stuck white highlighter. I think this will not suit my skin tone but oh well, maybe dalam gambar dia akan nampak cantik. I swatch kat sini. Hah? Tak nampak pun. Okay, swatch kat sini pula. Oh, okay. Now dah nampak. Mm, pretty but it looks too fair for my skin tone so I don't know about that. We'll have to see in my next video later on. Next, I have this beauty sponge here. Hari tu, I ada dapat beauty sponge daripada foundation set for 2 and I like it a lot. So this time, I asked for an extra sponge. So I got this. They come with this zipper bag and of course, it feels so soft just like the previous one. So yeah, I already know I like this. Okay, the next one kita ada oh drop foundation and this is in number one I think I already have this in my collection and I've tried it in my previous photo or video so I will include this in my giveaway pile too this is mine okay looks like this comes in a glass bottle with dropper so dia nampak mahal sangat nampak luxury nampak macam luxury product but it's not actually and then the next one we have the powder blush and this is in number 5. Mm, it looks too pink for me. Like, I don't really go for this kind of color. But it's okay. I don't mind that. Now that I look at it, it has a little bit of glitters inside. I don't like glitters in my blush. So, yeah, but I will definitely try this in my next video. Because I think this is one of their new products too. And the last two products are the Select Cover Up Concealer and this one is in the shade number 3 Vanilla and I've already tried this and I like it but this time it's the different shade and this is um, slightly lighter than the previous one that I own so I will definitely use this to highlight my under eye and lastly we have the Rose Rose Gold 2-in-1 Matte and Liquid Lipstick Oh, what? No, it's called Rose Gold 2-in-1 Matte Lipstick and Liquid Lipstick. That's a really long name. I have in the shade RGGLL number 6. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it looks like this. Apparently, this is one of their best sellers. Looks like I'm not so sure whether I'm going to try this or include it in my giveaway pile. 
not really sure aku nak nak cuba ke nak letak lagi kuih so Saya tak nak buka, nanti dia akan smudge dekat tepi-tepi tu Sebab saya rasa saya nak masukkan dia dalam giveaway Tapi tak tahu lagi Saya akan fikir dulu But for now, saya simpan dalam kotak dulu This one I have is the Traveler's Eyeshadow Palette Or Eyeshadow and Cheek Palette And this is in number... What number is this? This is number 3 and I pilih yang ni sebab I nak cuba warna merah yang kat tengah ni I'm very 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 attracted to that colour Susahnya nak buka Cuma nak buka ni It's quite a bulky palette Sebab dia tebal Tapi packaging dia very very pretty And it looks like this Dekat depan dia transparent You boleh nampak apa barang dekat dalam And at the back it has like a rose gold um, colour Atas you dapat 6 eyeshadow Tiga shimmer, tiga lagi matte And dekat bawah you dapat satu shimmery slash glittery blusher And this one more like a neutral pink This is this is really really pale At first I thought this can be used as like a bronzer or contour But now that I receive it One it has glitters in it And the second one it looks more like a nudish peachy color Instead of like your regular bronzer color So yeah. Uh, and you also got this dual ended brush here Tapi I tak rasa I akan pakai pun It is glued on the palette Nampak tak? Ada dia punya lilin lekat kat situ Hmm, kat satu Satu ni dia macam sponge tip Satu lagi dia macam shader brush I tak rasa I akan pakai pun brush ni So that's that Okay, so mula-mula sekali I akan swatch yang tengah ni First impression, dia rasa sangat-sangat lembut dekat tangan Ooh, fuck. That's really pigmented Okay I like it already Lepas tu, I can swatch uh, colour yang ni pula Dia macam bronzy sikit And again, it's shimmery Dia, dia bukan shimmer, dia macam dua chrome metallic colour Ni Sis. Okay, last kali I akan cuba untuk swatch chocolate uh, matte ni Again, dia punya matte rasa sangat-sangat lembut Oh, oh Lalu matte eyeshadow, dia akan swatch patchy Like, they look patchy when you swatch it They look disappointing Tapi yang ni, damn, sis Wow, wow look at that that is major pigmentation and performance there. Okay, okay. I'm very, very excited to try this. So basically, that's all I have from Otto O. I will definitely buy their new eyeshadow palette and also their stick foundation, which is kind of like a dupe for the Makeup Revolution Fast Best Stick Foundation. So wait for that video to come, maybe in another two or three weeks. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and. Thumbs up if you enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!